I publish a blog called Tech for Luddites, providing tips and tricks for navigating our digital world. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a contact form into your WordPress template. So the easiest way to add a contact form into your website or blog is to add it to a page, and we do that using a plugin called Jetpack. Uh, Jetpack is interesting because what it does is it takes some uh, features and functions that are available in the free WordPress.com service and lets you use them in your self-hosted uh, WordPress blog. So what you need to do is we need to first install the plugin. And so what you want to do is you want to go down in the dashboard to the plugins menu and you want to go to add new. Now since we already know the name of the plugin, we'll just type it in. It's called Jetpack and you say search plugins. And it, it's the first one that comes up. It's a very popular one, uh, as you can see. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and install it. It's going to say, are you sure you want to install this plugin? You're going to say yes. And then after you install it, you actually have to activate it. So click Activate Plugin. Now this plugin is a little different. If you've, you may have used some before, uh, where now you're ready to go. But this one, because it's taking uh, features and functionality from WordPress.com, you need to connect to your blog to WordPress.com. Now, they make it very obvious with this giant button over here, so we're just going to say connect to WordPress.com. If you already have a WordPress.com uh, website, you can use your credentials to log into it. If you don't, you can create a new one uh, where it says need an account, and it will walk you through the steps. All it's going to do for you is create the account. You don't have to create a blog over there. Uh, it's just you have to be basically logged into that service. So um, I already have an account, uh, and I'm going to log into that. And I'm going to authorize Jetpack. So it's authorizing. Cool. Now you can see it says up here connected to WordPress.com. If, if at any time I don't want to be, I can, I can click there and disconnect. But you'll see there's all sorts of different uh, features that come with Jetpack. And you should, after we finish this, uh, this video, I definitely recommend that you check them out because you just got a whole bunch of new features in your blog. So now we're going to add our contact form into a new page uh, on your blog. So I'm going to go from, to Pages in the uh, left-hand menu and go to Add New. And what you'll see is you, you, what's always been there is this Add Media button. Well, it's added a new one, Add Contact Form. So when you click that, you'll get a new window will open up. And it gives you some very basic default fields, which are the standard ones you would use. Name, email, website, comment. And you can add a new field just by clicking there. Let's say we want to add, are you a, new, are you a blog subscriber? And we're going to make that a radio, uh, a radio field with two options, yes. And add another option, no. And you can see it's building it over here. Uh, I'm not going to make it required. I'm going to save the field. I'm going to drag it up because I actually want this question above my comment field. And then I can click on email notifications. And this is uh, wh when you receive, who you want to receive the responses. So uh, the email settings are, are to tell you who you want the email sent to after they finish filling in the form. By default, it will go to the person who wrote the blog post, but you can change that if you always want to receive, if you have multiple bloggers and you always want to receive any uh, comments that come in, then you can have it sent directly to you and you can make the subject line uh, whatever you want it to be. By default, again, it will be the name of the page or the post, but you can change it to whatever you want. Um, so you go back to the form builder, click add this form to my post, and it doesn't matter whether you've added it to the text or the visual field, it will still work. We're going to save the draft, we're going to preview it, and there. You've got a really great little contact form with whatever questions you want to ask, it can be a lo as long or as short as you want, and it's, this is a really great way to uh, inter engage with the readers of your blog. Great, now you know how to add a contact form into your WordPress blog or website.